Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again. Today, going to show you how to play Muscle of Love by Alice Cooper, the title track from the band's 1973 album of the same name. The last album this classic lineup would ever produce, as Alice would forge ahead as a solo artist shortly after its release, with no small amount of success, I might add. That said, those three or four early 70s albums with that classic lineup of Michael Bruce, Glenn Buxton, Dennis Dunaway, and Neil Smith are far and away my favorites from the Alice Cooper band. Uh, with this album, Muscle of Love, upon its release proving to be a bit uneven at times, but still a pretty solid album overall to close out this chapter of the band. Regardless, enough said. Let's close in and get started with this one, shall we? All right then, Muscle of Love and Alice Cooper from 1973. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial. This one has a great classic early 70s opening riff. Goes a little something like this. <laughs> into the first verse. So this riff is all going on on the twos and fours of the A, D, and G string for the most part. We're starting on the two of the A and we're going to go down to the four of the G. Going to hit that twice and then pull it off to two. Up to the four of the D, back to the two of the G. Then you're going to do a little pull off from four off to two again. Then you're going to do a double pull off from the four of the D off to open D. Then you're going to grab the 5 of the A with your pinky, give it a little downwards tug, and then drop back off to 2 again. Right, and then you're going to start it again, but you're only going to play the first 4 notes or so. And you're going to stop right on that 4 of the D, drop into a D power chord, move it into an E power chord, and then back it off to the 2nd fret and start again, right? And then we're into the first verse. The vocals haven't come in yet, but we're going to play the first verse riff here. F sharp power chord, you're going to give that a double tap and then a six count and do it again. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, and then a four count, and then we're going to grab an E power chord, back it off to a D power chord, and then drop into B and do the same thing in B that we were just doing in F. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Then you're going to grab that B, back it off to A, back it off to F sharp, and start again, right? Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Right, so that's the verse riff. Now, before the vocals come in, over top of that are some unison bends. Right there on the two of the B and the four of the G. Right? You're going to do that twice. And when the band moves into B, we're going to drop into the unison bends here on the uh, 7 of the B and the 9 of the G. Right? We're only going to do that once. And the second time, before the vocals come in, we're going to play this little lick. Right there on the 9 of the G, little bend release off to 7. Grab the 9 of the D. And then a little bend of that 9 back off to 7. Kind of like that, right? And then we're into the first verse with the vocals, and we're going to play that riff twice. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Now, we're not going to do that uh, B off to A back to F sharp because now we're dropping into the chorus. And so a little lick that he plays, a couple of little fill lines that they're playing here leading into the chorus. And this is the first one. Right there, a little uh, trill between 5 and 7 of the high E. Then you're going to go 7, 6, 5, 3 of the B. Then you're going to do a pull off from 5 to 3 to open. Right back onto that 5 for a little slow bend. 
right? And then we drop into the chorus. Chorus is dead simple. All three finger power chords, C to D to E to G to A. Holy muscle of the love. I've got a muscle of love. And then we're into the second verse. Second verse, same as the first, right? Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Right, and you're going to repeat that again. Leading into the second chorus, another fill line. Right there, so a little trill between uh, three and five of the B. Grab that four of the G back to the five. And then just a little back and forth here on the three, five of the B before finishing with a bend of that five, right? Right into the second chorus. And then we're back into the main riff for three repeats leading into the solo. And leading into the solo... into F sharp, change the tempo a little bit, right? So the solo is over this. And it starts uh, with a full step bend here on the four of the G. But I'm going to run through the solo first, and then we'll dig into how to play it. pretty much the solo right there. So it starts full step bend on that four that you're gonna let hang there for about two bars and then we're gonna drop into this. So we're gonna break this solo in half, right? Uh, it's all going on in this F sharp minor pentatonic box. Starting on the root note here on the four, the D. That box right there and we do not leave it for the entirety of this solo. Four, two, four, two, five, two, right? That little box right there. So we're starting with this bend, right? Letting that hang. And the first half of the solo. Right there. So we're kind of repeating this lick, right? All going on on the 2-4 uh, the of the G. Starting with a triple hit. And that's the first half of the solo. Coming out of the bend. Triple hit of that two. Now double hits. And then finishing with that. Right, five off to two. And the second half of the solo. We're doing the same thing we were just doing on the G string, but now on the 2-5 of the B. And it finishes with a bit of an off note, a step and a half bend here on that 4 of the G, right? the solo so let's put it all together nice and slow Of the solo, we drop into this. Before dropping into the third verse. So, this is kind of a repeating lick. We're going to move it up two frets at a time here. Uh, three of the A, two, three, five of the D. Just all.
all single notes, right? Move it up two spots. Move it up two more. And then seven nine. And then nine twelve of the of the uh, B string, right? And then slide out of that right into the next verse. We've already learned this. You're going to repeat that twice for the third verse. Uh, again, a little fill line leading into the third chorus. Very simple, just sliding into 11, then 10, 12 of the B, 10, 12 of the high E. You're going to pick that 12 a couple of times and then give it a bend. Kind of like that, right? Into the chorus again. B for two bars, right, and just strum it. And then we drop into that progression that we played at the end of the solo. Right, however, it's going to change up a little bit here. These uh, notes here, that 9, uh, sorry, that 7, 9, 9, 12, we're going to do triplets on them. Kind of like that, right? And when you hit that 12, you slide out of it. Now we're going to take that same progression, move it up to the E and the A string. Same frets, right? Three, two, three, five. Move it up two, move it up two. And the little uh, triplets that we're going to do here are on the seven, nine of the D and the, uh, the eight, 11 of the G. And we're just going to go back and forth a number of times, maybe about 10 times at the end of this track, just doing that, right? Going from A to D up to, up to uh, E to A. Playing that riff, right? going to lead back into the main riff for one repeat right at the very end of the track. So what we're doing here just to finish the track, we're playing the riff, grabbing that five of the A right, and then we're just going to finish with this, two open, two open of the A and then the E. D, E, B, B, and that's the end of the track right there. That, my friends, is How You Play Muscle of Love by Alice Cooper, Michael Bruce, uh, Glenn Buxton. I don't think Glenn Buxton actually played on this album. As I think the band was in the process of falling apart at this point. And uh, I think they brought in Dick Wagner to play second guitar to Michael Bruce on this album, uh, even though Glenn Buxton is credited on the album as lead guitarist. Uh, I read somewhere that he actually did not play on this album. Anyway. Regardless, uh, I certainly hope you enjoyed that, found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there, and uh, we'll see you next time, yeah? Cheers.